it is currently, apparently according to the feels like temperature, negative 17 degrees Celsius. And I'm out for my morning walk. I don't know if you guys can hear me very well. On my morning walk, I'm being productive. I'm going to get my COVID test and then I'm going to pick up a parcel from my PO box and then I'm gonna go get breakfast. Okay, bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. Today's weekly vlog is going to be of my first full week of in-person classes this semester at Yale. So because of COVID, um, the new Omicron variant, it's not that new now, but anyway, <laughs> um, our first two weeks of our spring semester this year were online. And then in week three, we went in person. So this week is actually week four. Um, so last week was technically our first week of in-person classes. And I was going to vlog last week because it was our first week of in-person classes for the semester. So exciting. But then my Spanish teacher actually got COVID. So our Spanish classes ended up still being on Zoom last week. And because I have Spanish classes every day, it was just kind of a lot of Zoom and it was a little bit of a weird week. So I ended up not vlogging last week and I'm vlogging this week now because all of my classes this week are in person so it's like my first proper week of in-person classes um, and it's already week four of the semester which is just <laughs> crazy let's not talk about it midterms are approaching one of my friends has a midterm this week I don't understand anyway um, so yeah I'm just gonna be taking you along for my week lots of fun things planned it is a freezing day today okay two days ago on Saturday it was 14 degrees Celsius I was running in a t-shirt and shorts and today it's negative 17 degrees Celsius. How? How? I don't know. Anyway, um, today I just have Spanish class, so I'm going to get a little bit of work done before then because that is at 11.35. It goes from 11.35 until 12.25. Then I will come back, have lunch, and get ready and go to practice. And it's also Valentine's Day today. Not that that makes any difference to my life. Okay, so I'm currently walking to my first in-person Spanish class. Very exciting. Also, mm, I don't know how to speak Spanish, so this is going to be interesting. Goodness, it's very bright. Um, so, just finished Spanish class. It was actually okay today. Um, I didn't have to do much talking. Am I in focus? I don't know. Anyway, I didn't have to do much talking because uh, the assignment that we had over the weekend was we had to record like a seven minute podcast episode with someone else in the class on a like kind of a climate change issue. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so we were just like listening to everyone's podcasts today, but we didn't get to my group's podcast Which was kind of good because I don't really want everyone to hear that um, But we're gonna do that tomorrow. Mine is the only group that we didn't get to um, So yeah, Spanish was it was kind of fun to have it in person um, but It's also a little more challenging because you just feel like you're on the spot a bit more, I don't know Also, I ordered a package to my PO box like last week and it got delivered four days ago and they still haven't processed it like the PO box place takes so long to process packages and I really want my package um it's okay it's nothing urgent but I would just like it and I've been there like five times to keep like checking oh my god I keep checking if my package has arrived and it hasn't anyway I will see when we're inside okay I'm currently hustling to the bus stop honestly sometimes I wonder why I chose to go to college in a place that gets this cold could have gone to college in like well Australia <laughs> but also like California Florida mm, not sure about that one but <laughs> that would be wild okay everyone describe how your day was uh, Oh yeah! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Anyone have any better news to share? <laughs> no. It's, um, my, it's my three year anniversary. Oh, oh yes! Wow. The Instagram post was so cute, it made my day. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. I'm just really, really single. Oh, yeah. Same. Oh, gave us these adorable Valentine's Day Oh, that is true. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone's in Valentine's Day colors over there. Yeah, Amazing. <laughs> I love I to see it. I now, guys. No way! So I started my stats pizza. pizza. It's due on Friday night. That is a little too productive. That is amazing. Wow. Oh, Becca found her beanie. Woo! That's positive. 
This is a Monday. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And I'm doing nothing. Me too. I've been in the library for about an hour and a half after dinner. I was just responding to a few emails. Well, I was doing some, oh yeah, I was trying to do summer break stuff, trying to figure out what I'm doing over summer break. Um, and then I was doing some readings, um, reading Moby Dick for one of my classes this week, one of my seminars um, called The US and the Pacific World, which if you guys, I explained like what all of my classes are about in my last vlog because that was like my first week of classes vlog but if you haven't seen that basically oh my god it's so cold um <laughs> basically this class is like about u.s history but from the perspective of the pacific islands sort of thing um which is pretty interesting because i don't know anything about u.s history so it's been really good so far anyway it's so cold and i'm walking back to my room um and i might facetime my mum because she randomly facetimed me without warning while I was at dinner and I was like I can't speak now and now she hasn't responded to my message so I don't know no one is out and about this evening why is there no one is outside it's so cold so cold oh my gosh at practice we run outside like even when it's this this freezing these negative negative temperatures we still always run outside and I'm like Treadmills exist for a reason. Or I, I do I do not like running on treadmills though. But on a day like today, I really I would go for a treadmill run, but no. We were outside in the freezing cold temperatures, but it was kind of fun because oh my is my nose my nose is like red. <laughs> um because it was Valentine's Day and our coach made us these little like chocolate little bag things. Um and yeah, I don't have a person to celebrate Valentine's Day with but at least I have my teammates who I love very much um, so yeah it was fun good times but cold very cold morning happy Tuesday it's currently about 10 a.m. Um, I woke up around 8 this morning and then I went for a little walk and listened to a podcast that I had to that was assigned for my psychology class which is later today so that was like 40 50 minute podcast so I just went for a walk listened to that and then got some breakfast picked up my package was finally at the PO box um, so I picked up my package 
and then came back here. And now I'm just going to do a few readings um, for one of my classes that is tomorrow um, before I have to go off to Spanish. So today I have two classes. I have Spanish at 11.35 and then I have Psych and the Good Life at 1.00. Um, so I don't really have that much time to eat lunch today, um, so I'm just going to try and take some like lunch on the go. I have like some stuff in my fridge that I will try and just like take and eat as I'm walking all the way up Science Hill to my psych class and then I have to sprint all the way back down Science Hill into the bus and go to practice and I have practice this afternoon. Okay, so I just finished Spanish class and I've been eating a little bit of lunch as I'm walking up to Science Hill for Psychology and the Good Life, which is the happiness class that I talked about briefly yesterday. Um, so basically, <laughs> I talked about this more in my last vlog, but if you just Google Yale happiness course, then you can find out what this class is about. But yeah, basically it's about the psychology of happiness and it's quite hard to get into because like so many students want to get, want to get into it um, but I managed to get in so really excited to be taking it this semester and it's not offered very much it's, this is only the second time it's ever been offered and they're not gonna offer it again until like at least 2024 so good thing I got in now but it is on Science Hill I was really hoping to not have any classes on Science Hill this semester but I do which is very sad but that's okay it's a nice walk it's just it's really cold it's like not as cold as yesterday today it's like negative 10 degrees so really comparatively very warm So as you guys know, normally I have practice on Monday afternoons, Tuesday afternoons, run on your own on Wednesday, practice on Thursday afternoon, Friday afternoon, and then Saturday morning is our long run. So that's like normally what I, that's the normal schedule for practice. And normally Tuesday and Fridays are our hard like workout days where we do an actual session. And then the other days are like aerobic running and, you know, strength and all that stuff. Anyway, this week, for some reason, we the plan was for Tuesday and Wednesday to be workout days to like get used to running back to back for the people that need to be like racing back to back throughout the track season. So the plan was like practice Monday, workout at practice on Tuesday, workout at practice on Wednesday, then have Thursday run on your own, Friday at practice but not a workout and then Saturday is a workout <laughs> that makes sense it's a little bit anyway that was the plan but now our coaches just messaged us and saying that people are feeling a little bit tired after racing on the weekend not me I'm not feeling tired because I did not race well and I did not race well enough to feel tired anyway my coach said that because of that we are going to push our workouts this week which we have never done before so I feel like <laughs> I feel like I can never do a weekly vlog where something out of the ordinary doesn't happen. That's just... Anyway, so this has never happened before. But anyway, we're pushing our workout. So now we are working out Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But I still have to go to practice on Friday. Basically, you have to have... It's like some rule thing that you have to have one day off per week, like throughout the school week um so we always have sundays off because they're a rest day but we also have to have one day throughout the monday to friday week where we just run on our own like they can't have they can't force us to come to practice every single day monday to friday anyway so now the day of us are running on our own is today whereas normally it's wednesday but this week it was going to be thursday but now it's tuesday does that make sense i don't know anyway basically now i'm not going to practice today Um, 
Um, so I've just got back from my run and I have had a shower and I'm really, really cold. <gasps> I'm actually <laughs> so cold. I was planning on going to the library and doing some work right now after my run, but I just really don't want to move. Um, so I think I'm just going to do some work in my room until dinner. So the reading, oh hello, I feel very close to the camera. Um, the reading I'm going to get started on, or not, I'm going to continue reading um is like 60 pages of moby dick um which i've never read before and it the <clears throat> so far i've only read like 20 out of the 60 pages it's a little bit confusing because it keeps like it's obviously not the whole book so the reading keeps it's just like parts and it keeps kind of jumping forwards in time um but i'm sure as i finish off the reading it will make a lot more sense but this is one of the four readings i have to do for my class tomorrow and I don't know if I have my, my seminar class tomorrow, which is the one US and the Pacific world. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this in the vlog yet, but I had a very, very busy weekend because we had a meet on Saturday. So basically I didn't get any work done on Saturday. Wednesday. I'm currently walking to breakfast and there's someone kind of close behind me so we're gonna go now. Hello so I've just had lunch and I am now heading to my only class on Wednesdays because Spanish is every day, but on Wednesdays it's asynchronous, so you don't actually have to go into class. So my class on Wednesdays is my history seminar, the US and the Pacific World, so that's the one kind of about US history. Um, so this morning I was just finishing off my readings for that, and now I am heading to class. So that class is almost two hours. It goes from 1.30 until 3.20 in the afternoon, and normally then Wednesday afternoons are the days that I don't have practice, so I just get to relax slash go to the library and do work. Um, but today, because our practice is shifted around this week, I have to go to practice. So Julia, who's one of my friends who's on the team, she is also in this class with me. So we're going to be a little bit late to practice because practice starts at three, but we like normally we don't have practice on today. So that's why we have a class at this time. Anyway, so we'll just get there as soon as we can. And we have a workout today, which should be interesting. And maybe <laughs> our coach just said that we might be doing it outside, which, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's warm enough to be running outside, but we will, we will see. <laughs> I mean, we always like warm up and cool down outside, but in terms of like actually doing the workout outside, we've been running on the indoor track for the past few months because it's been too cold. everyone happy Thursday I've had a very busy morning so far this morning and it's only 9 a.m. I had to wake up and do my Spanish homework for today normally I have the whole of Wednesday afternoon to do work so normally I do my Spanish homework and my seminar homework for today um, on Wednesday afternoons but yesterday I had practice on Wednesday afternoon so I couldn't and then when I got back from practice I got back quite late because um, my seminar ended late so then practice went like a little bit later than usual then I got back late had to get dinner and then I had to call my sister Noelle because it was her 18th birthday which is very exciting anyway so then I didn't have time to do my Spanish thing last night so I woke up and did it this morning then I raced to breakfast then I raced back to my room to grab my umbrella because apparently it's going to be raining later this afternoon and I'm not going to be going back to my room until like probably like 9 30 p.m. tonight um so Thursdays Thursdays are my busiest days of classes I have back-to-back -back classes all morning and then straight to practice so I've got my Olympic Games seminar this morning which will be really good then straight after that I have Spanish then straight after that I have psych and the good life and then I have to go to practice and then 
after practice gonna go to dinner and then probably the library to do some work um so yeah busy day but it will be good we also have a workout at practice today again which normally like I said we don't have workouts on Thursdays but this week's just a weird week so we do have a workout So it's a good day. Yes, it's so warm. <laughs> Positivity. Yeah. everybody happy Friday or should I say good afternoon it's actually 12 30 p.m. so it's the afternoon please ignore the mess in the background my <laughs> my room has become messy this week um anyway I have just got out of Spanish class so on Fridays the only class I have is Spanish and it's from 11 35 until 12 25 um, as it is every other day of the week apart from Wednesdays when it's asynchronous um, so I had that this morning and before that I got up got breakfast and then I had a zoom meeting with my coach just to talk over a few things um, and that was really good so did that went to Spanish <laughs> and at the start of my Spanish class my professor he is so funny <laughs> his name is Sebastian and we like we call him Sebastian or Sebastian in you know with the Spanish pronunciation um, which is funny because I've never called any of my professors by their first name before but he likes us to do that and at the start of the class <laughs> He got some chalk and drew on the blackboard like a bottle of wine and then he wrote next to it like El Viernes which means Friday <laughs> and he was like yay meaning like yay it's Friday party time kind of thing on my way back from Spanish I just went past my PO box to pick up a couple of packages because I have ordered some things off Amazon that I needed and so I thought I would do a little unboxing on camera for you I actually don't know exactly Oh, okay, awesome. So these, first we have some shower shoes. These were, I think, $11 from Amazon. They're the same ones. I don't know. Oh, you know, you can't see on the ground. But I already have a pair of these um, that I, obviously, because at college in the dorms, the showers are communal, so you have to wear flip-flops or slides or something on your feet. Um, some people don't, which, mm. anyway, but yes, <laughs> I think that you do. So I have a pair of these already exactly the same color size, everything, but I got another pair because we, after practice, 
on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, we shower at the locker rooms and I don't have a pair of shower shoes there and you don't technically need them, like some girls have them, some girls don't, but I just kind of would prefer to have them so... I got these, that is so excellent. I can take them to practice today. Um, and then this big package. I don't remember exactly what is in. Oh yes, okay. Okay, excellent. So first I got this little eyebrow brush. Whoa, okay, whoa, there's many things that came in this. Okay, wow, that's crazy, because I don't have an eyebrow brush. I really need to get some eyebrow makeup, because I don't know what to do with my eyebrows. I need to do something with them. I don't know what, but anyway, I thought the first step might be to get an eyebrow brush. So I don't know how good this is going to be, because it was about $8 off Amazon, but better than nothing maybe i don't know when i go home if i go home over summer break um, maybe i'll figure that out anyway and then i also got some of these <laughs> um these are like mesh um, mesh laundry sorry these are mesh laundry bags and i have no idea how big oh that's quite large that is larger than i thought that was gonna be um okay so there's five of these because it came in a packet of five um basically because obviously the washing machines at college are communal um and i am very paranoid about losing a sock in the washing machines um so i thought i would wash my socks in these bags i also have some like you know underwear bras that would be better to wash in bags like these rather than just in the washing machine and i also have those little uh, reusable makeup remover pads that really need to be washed in one of these otherwise they'll just get lost in the washing machine um so i got these um i there's five didn't really need five but that's okay those are my really fun and exciting purchases from amazon i'm now going to go get some lunch and then eat it, obviously. <laughs> and then head to practice this afternoon. And normally on Fridays at practice, we have a workout, which is mm, not my favorite thing in the world to do on a Friday afternoon. But this week, because we had the weird week where we had like Wednesday, Thursday, back-to-back -back workouts. And by the way, my legs are so sore right now. But because of that, we don't have a workout today, so it's just an easy run slash shakeout. Um, so, kind of looking forward to that. Should be good. Okay, update. So, I've had lunch, and I'm now walking to practice. And that is all I have to say. Hello, so practice finished in record time today. Like I have said many times, this week with practice is like a little weird. All of the stuff has been shifted around and <laughs> I was at practice for 45 minutes. I left at 3.58 p.m. and it starts at 3.15. I was there at like, well I leave campus on the 2.30 bus which gets here at 2.45 and then I get changed and go out to the cage around, around three, but anyway. <laughs> Never have I ever been out of practice at that early. Normally we get out of practice at like 6 p.m., sometimes 6.30. Yesterday we didn't leave here until like after 7 p.m. We left at like 7.15 p.m. yesterday. So this is completely unheard of. Like, okay, the bus is here, so I'm just walking to the bus, but I cannot emphasize, like, never will I ever again be at practice for 45 minutes. Like, that just does not happen. But <laughs> anyway, okay, I need to run. Okay, so bus just arrived back on campus and anyway, as I was saying before I had to sprint to get onto the bus, like, 
yes, practice never ends at that time. Normally it ends like three hours later, but it was nice to get out nice and early today. And then as you saw, I went and used those like compression boot things for half an hour and I'd never used them before. So that was really cool. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that they do anything honestly, but it was kind of fun to do anyway. Um, and now I'm back on campus. And it is 5.37, which is crazy. Um, so I'm just going to try and get a little bit of work done before dinner. And then I will go and get dinner with my friends, I think. So I'm just going to head into the library now for about an hour. morning everyone happy saturday um i did not have a great sleep last night but that is okay i was up bright and early this morning because i had to go and get my blood drawn or i didn't have to um basically i think everyone on the track team got sent out an email saying that if we want to get like a blood test to get our iron levels checked and some other things checked then we could and i thought why not so my iron is probably low to be honest <laughs> i've definitely had issues with iron in the past but then i had a couple of like iron infusions and then the last time i got my ferritin levels checked they were like 120 which is very good because previously they were like 12. <laughs> anyway, so I walked all the way over to Yale Health this morning to get that done um, and then I walked back to my room and normally on Saturday mornings we have a long run but I spoke to my coach yesterday and we decided I'm not going to do that today. I'm taking today and tomorrow off rather than just tomorrow off just for a little like reset because it's kind of like the end of indoor season and outdoor season isn't starting for like a month or so because obviously I'm not competing at like regionals or nationals or anything <laughs> um, so yeah I've got a while until outdoor season so we're just gonna do like a little bit of a reset week um, anyway so I'm just now heading back to Morse College um, to go to the gym and do the strength the strength workout that we have to do on Saturdays so I'm gonna do that and then probably get brunch with my team after they've finished their long run. So, oh, I'm looking a bit, <laughs> I'm looking a bit rough this morning. It's very cold and my eyes are watering. Um, so at Yale, obviously there's this big library here and there's a bunch of like libraries all around campus that anyone can use. And we've also got a really big gym, PWG, which is where the bus always leaves for practice. So anyone can go to that gym, it's massive. But also, with the residential colleges, each residential college has its own gym and its own library that only the people who are in that college can use. So I can go to Morse's gym and Morse's library, but no other college's gym or library, which is usually convenient because usually, obviously, if you're in that college, you're living in the college, but because I'm being housed on old campus this year, it's actually very inconvenient because old campus is really far from Morse. So I have to trek all the way over to Morse, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. It's, it's like a, it's like a eight minute walk, seven, eight minute walk. It's not too bad, but it's just annoying because usually, usually I wouldn't even have to go outside. Like I could just go from my room down the stairs and into the gym. That'd be lovely. That would be lovely. So as you can see, I'm currently in the gym and I'm going to be very productive while I'm doing this little workout. I'm going to listen to um, the podcast episodes that we have to listen to for Psych and the Good Life. For most lectures, we get assigned like a podcast episode to listen to from our professor's podcast. Um, so I'm going to do that and learn about happiness.
fun in doing what you're told. Okay, so this is the strangest weather event I've ever seen occur in my life, and it was all over in like five minutes, um, but basically it was like, it was snow squall or something, like S-Q-U-A-L-L, -L. <laughs> um, so I don't know exactly what that is, but we all got this like big weather alert on our phones, and I went outside to like watch it when it happened, and it was weird. But it was kind of cool. Um, <laughs> it was just random, like, how short of a time it lasted. Anyway, so that happened, um, and I was studying in Stirling with Julia, and on Saturdays, Stirling closes at 5 p.m., um, so we had to leave the library at 5 p.m., and when we walked out of the library... Oh my goodness, campus was just looking so beautiful. There are some evenings at Yale when the campus just looks so magical and this was one of those evenings. So enjoy these next few clips. Good morning everyone, happy Sunday, last day of the week. Um, so I know there were quite a lot of time lapses yesterday afternoon. Basically I just studied all afternoon in the library with Julia and then after that I went and got dinner with Soph and Kira and then I <laughs> came back to my room and I called my mum and we FaceTimed for over two and a half hours. So that was really good, um, it was really nice to talk to her and um, then I went to bed. <laughs> And now I have woken up this morning and I'm currently walking to breakfast and then I'm just gonna get stuck into studying today. I have so much work to get done this weekend. Um, so I'm gonna study somewhere this morning then when the library opens this afternoon, I think Julia and I are gonna go back there and do another little Arvo study sesh this Arvo. So that is the plan, Jan, let's get going. school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby i only want you it's true and 
and he said I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it beautiful it's a song about your sweet sweetheart and how nobody can steal me away Okay, so I'm currently walking back from the library. I haven't talked too much this weekend, but I have, oh, this is, mm, hello. Um, I've basically just been studying most of the weekend. Um, so I studied all afternoon in the library. I got lunch with Sov and Kira, which was nice, and then studied all afternoon in the library with um, Soph and Julia. And my camera is gonna run out of storage and the bells are going off. As you can see, I'm back in my room now and I've just been watching a little bit of Netflix and I'm just going to get ready for bed now. I'm going to try and have an early night. It's currently 9.30, so I'm going to try and be lights out by 10pm tonight, I think, so we can have a nice, productive, early start to next week. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I feel like this has been quite a good quite a good week quite a good vlog so yeah it's just we were talking in psych and the good life this week about savoring um and how that's actually important to kind of sustained happiness and these vlogs really help me to savor all of my moments at yale i'm really grateful that i get to do that through this channel and also that i get to share all of the moments with you guys as well so thank you for being here i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel then i would love it if you could consider doing that if you think you would enjoy seeing more of my content and speaking of more of my content i will be back on your screens hopefully next week or in the next couple of weeks with another video um so yeah i'll see you soon bye